If you're logging into Jira and everything looks a little bit different, then it's not your eyes playing tricks on you. Atlassian recently has started rolling out changes to everybody worldwide and Jira has a new look. Now in this quick five minute video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know so that you feel a little bit more comfortable and hopefully a lot less frustrated when using the new UI. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button, and more importantly above all, make sure you share this video with every single person that is impacted by this change. There's a lot of you, so show this video some love, share it with all your coworkers, share it internally, send it to everybody because this is a huge update Every button in Jira has changed, and I'm gonna show you where everything is at so that you don't freak out. Let's jump into it. So this is the new Jira, and if I had to explain in a nutshell, what is new? What is different about this Jira? Well, essentially everything that used to go across the top is now going down the side here, and everything that used to be going down the side is now going to be going across the top. And so they basically just swap spaces. But what exactly do you need to know or at least worry about with respect to this update. Well, first off, your navigation is customizable. And so you can choose to move things around or display things or not display things, whatever you want, it's up to you. So if you click on that customized sidebar button on the side, you're gonna be given this menu and you can move things around. So you can move them up and down. You can deselect them if you don't care for it. If you don't use Teams, if you don't use operations, just get rid of them. When you're done, hit save changes and that's it. Your UI will now reflect those changes. Now keep in mind that this is customizable by you. So each team member might have a different UI. So don't freak out if somebody else has the operations or the teams and it's not showing up on yours, click on that more button and then click on customize sidebar and then you're gonna be able to basically find everything that is either hidden or not visible so that your UI can then also look like your peers. And so again, don't freak out because this is a new feature. Next up, and this is the biggest one, if you are a project admin, your project settings have moved and this is a very drastic change. And so you wanna go into your project, you're gonna come over to your project list over here. This is going to expand your project list and then you go into any project that you want. Now, before you go into the project though, you can click on these ellipses here, and this is going to take you to the project settings, which is then going to let you add people, manage permissions, workflows, all that good stuff. But just keep in mind that that button has moved, and it's a very, very annoying move because it's not immediately obvious because normally you would wanna click up here or somewhere on the right where it used to be, but it's not there. But if you do click on these ellipses here, this is for the board settings, not the project setting. So for the project, you're gonna to wanna to click right here. Now, speaking of board setting, when you go into a project, you now need to select which board you're gonna go into. Now, before Jerry used to be smart enough and just take you to the last board you were on, but now you have options. So now you can pick which board you're gonna to wanna to go to. And if you wanna do the project settings for one of those boards, when you hover over the board, you will notice that these ellipses are now displayed. When you click away, you're not gonna see them, but when you hover over them or when you click on the board itself, you will then see the ellipses for the board. And that's where you can get to the board settings or again, you can click on these up here. And then when you get to the board settings, this UI has changed a lot. And so you now wanna click on layout so you can find your columns, your swim lanes, and a few other settings that you're normally used to seeing. Now, if you happen to have a JSM project, then things get a little bit more tricky. When you go into a JSM project, notice that your UI takes up a lot more room. And so all your projects are still in this left-hand side. You're just sharing the real estate. So now you have to scroll up and down a whole lot more to be able to get to your project. So keep that in mind that when you have JSM, that screen size is shared. And so you gotta move up and down. Next up, if you're using apps, if you're gonna be installing apps or exploring more apps, I want you to be very careful here because when you go to the search, there are two searches here that are very close to each other. This search is for the Marketplace app and this search up here is to search for things in Jira. And so just be careful that you're clicking into the right one because I am accidentally always clicking into this search which is not the correct search to do and rather you wanna be clicking on this search here. Now, not all things are bad. The search is front and center now and Atlassian really wants you to be searching things. So now, instead of having that little search on the side, we now have this gigantic search in the middle, which if you're a premium or enterprise customer of Atlassian, it's also gonna be powered by Atlassian AI. So make sure you do take advantage of that. Now, that's pretty much it with respect to changes. I'm gonna just give you one last tidbit here that I kind of glanced over. 
And that is when you are in a project. So when you actually click into a project and onto a board itself, because remember, now you got to do two clicks to get there. Your navigation that used to go up and down on the left-hand side is now going horizontal across. So this is where you're going to find your backlog, your after sprint, and so much more. Now, just like the nav... Now, just like with the navigation on the left-hand side, each of these can be renamed, they can be moved to the left, they can be moved to the right, or even some of them, you can just completely remove them. And so keep that in mind that this navigation here for the specific board is also customizable. And always click on more over here to see the rest of the items and whatever doesn't fit on your UI and whatever's not in your more section, you do have the ability to add even more things to the menu by clicking here and then adding it to the navigation. Now naturally because of the compression of the screen, it's gonna go under more, so keep that in mind. But you can move all these things around, you can hide the things you don't want, just show the ones you do care, move things to the left, move things to the right, it's all up to you. Now that is pretty much what you need to know with the new UI. So just again, if I had to recap it, everything that used to go across the top of the navigation is now going down the left side and all those project settings, all those board settings, all those UIs for the board and the project that used to go up and down on the left have now gone horizontal across the middle. And so those are the changes. Make sure you share this video with everybody that you know because these changes do impact everybody because basically every button has moved. The whole UI is very different and so everything is kind of in a whole different place. So make sure that if you have a coworker or somebody that is just struggling or trying to figure out the new UI or you just need a quick primer on how to use a new UI, make sure you share this video with them. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like, and make sure you follow along for other videos.